basically I spoke on uh I spoke on uh this already on the live, but everybody don't catch the vertical lies. So basically Canelo Alvarez said that uh, you know, David Benavidez, you know, ain't the same fighter at 175. He ain't gonna do nothing up there at 175. Um, my thing is this dude, that's just a female move, bro. And that I'm I'm putting it nicely. Um, because we on YouTube. That's what females do. Females sit there and they speak on people that, you know, they really don't mess with. You know what I'm saying? And hold on, I think something in the road or something. Shit, I don't know what that was. But yeah, they see females, you know, they do shit like that. And men don't do that. Like, if I know I ain't gonna I, I ain't willing to see you for the fade. Like, I'm not even going to speak on it. I feel like if you know you don't want to fight a guy, you shouldn't speak on nothing that he got going on. Somebody asks you about like, ah, this ain't, I already ain't got much to say about him. You shouldn't critique him. You shouldn't talk about him. You shouldn't talk about rendezvous. And I hate that. When they say, well, I love to fight. You know, I fight him anytime, anywhere. But, you know, like, give me about two or three fights or give me after this. Nah, just when you win your next fight, you want to fight him. Let's make it happen. I just feel like you shouldn't really, you shouldn't really speak on people. In, in boxing, like, you ain't willing to fight. Now, if you ask, like, who gonna win this fight and he ain't around your division, that's cool to me. That's cool. But people in your division and around your division, I just feel like you shouldn't even speak on them. I feel like you shouldn't even speak on them. You know, and, and that's my humble opinion on that. Like, okay, you don't think he gonna be good at 75? Then, okay, then, I mean, you should keep that to yourself because you ducking him. You asked for two hundred million dollars to find. It was one fifty. Now it's two hundred million, and people is sitting here justifying that. People sitting here, oh, he's making fun of Turkey, and he's the, like y'all hype. Y'all literally are against the fight. Best fighting the best. Them two thousand twelve Errol Spence boxing fans, some tank sexuals, and these Canelo fans, bro. I just really, I really wish they never entered the sport of boxing. I really wish boxing never really went to social media at all because they 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 get them a false sense of they get them a false sense of uh a justification like oh this is cool no it's not if he ain't shit at 75 well, you fought up there before go up there and show us that he ain't shit that's what i would say go up there and show us that he ain't shit Go up and show us, like, if you need, if he ain't that good, what you need $200 million for? You know, and he admitted to Sway Universe he's a risk. Of course, every fighter a risk. As dumb as it may sound, Egner Belanger's a risk. Every fighter's a risk. And we know that. That's what we do know. Every fighter's a risk. But to be honest, to be honest, bro, I just feel that I'm not going to speak on another man, bro. Like, if you ask me a question about somebody, I said, like, actual life, man, I'm like, oh, man, what you think about, dog? Oh, you know, unless it's a recommendation, like, yeah, you know, what you think about the services that he provides, the haircut, I'm like, oh, that dog, he tight, you know, he be on time, he cut good. Yeah, yeah, my man. Now, if it's just like, yeah, man, you know, uh, who that nigga, uh, your sister with or whatever. Like, I don't know all buddy, like, he cool, but I don't really know him. Like, even if I knew him, like, I don't really know him like that. I just don't feel like, like, even even when it's work-related, I'm not going to say nothing to somebody that I won't say around them. That's just me. That's just how I operate. A lot of y'all be saying shit about niggas that y'all won't say in his face. They won't say in their face. Uh huh. If you can say it to, to behind their back, be able to say it to their face. And that's real. But nonetheless, uh, I'm glad I remembered that. I just feel like, I just feel like, he a hoe. Real talk. And I've always said this, I really don't respect him from a, as a real fighter, as a real boxer. I don't respect him. He never, to me, had a fighting spirit. He always was was uh, was privileged in boxing. 
He always was handed stuff in boxing, and he just moved like a he moved like a hoe. It ain't no other way to say it. He ain't never wanted to take the hard fights. They had to put a pistol to his head for him to take the hard fights. Somebody come. He just doing what Mayweather doing. You can't measure to what what what, what us. Let's stop measuring yourself against black fighters. We don't measure ourselves against Mexicans. But then again, Mayweather got it out the mud. He wasn't privileged like De La Hoya from the beginning. And even though De La Hoya was privileged, De La Hoya fought everybody for the most part. De La Hoya took risks. He didn't take calculated risks. De La Hoya took risks. Every risk Canelo took was calculated. First world title at a catch weight. You know? Every risk he took was calculated. Triple G, calculated risk. Waited, 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 waited. And cheated. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be continuing to tell y'all, these needs to be taking calculated risks. For real. These niggas don't really be trying. These, these dudes don't be taking real risks. They wait for somebody to slow down, have a chink in their armor. They not that good. No, they not that good. Them the type of risk they take. Them the type of risk they take. Hey niggas is hey niggas really do be sad. This nigga just had his woman pumping his gas. Them the type of niggas, uh, them the type of niggas women women like. That's why I was looking. I was looking like damn. I'm like, man. They said the best ability, the best ability during dating is knowing when to do less. That's cra that's crazy. Or when to know when not to do more. Shit, that's crazy. But yeah, like I said before, oh, he don't, he ain't gonna be good. He ain't gonna do it. He hate it. He, he gonna fail at 175. I couldn't do it at once. He can't do it. I said I couldn't beat people. He can't beat people. I can't be better. Be I would never fight better. Be that's him. People real life be real life be hating on you. Like you hating on a man because he wanna fight you. This is what you in the sport of boxing for. To fight the best. Now if he wanna fight on regular TV, hey, I really can't go. I would love still to see him fight David Benavidez. But if he wanted to fight on regular TV, hey man, hey, that's up to you. But a lot of these Mexican fans, I just show you how, how they move, bro. That show you how they move. And that's how Mexicans move in every aspect. No matter what they do, there's no logic in it. They just, they support it, they support it. Even if it's to the detriment of their culture, they gonna support it, support it, and I admire that around about them, but they ain't us. We gonna hold each other, as black men, we gonna hold each other accountable. If we move like y'all, why, why would I have, why would I criticize y'all? That's how we move, I would just shut the fuck up. But let's see what the numbers look like versus Agner Berlang. Let's see. And I don't want to hear, oh, that fight sucked. It was true. Don't come over here with that. Don't come over here with that evil Ricky Bobby. Don't come over. I don't want to hear it. With that nut job in the local dummy box. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you know, you know, you know he ain't going to never, he, got no, he don't get no bitches. He probably couldn't pay to get them. I don't care. I don't care. Scotty, he's a bit near. He <laughs> called Scotty with the ER was wild. I was cracking up, bro. You. <laughs> oh, my God. The dog is pure comedy, bro. And why are you stopping at? You can make a complete turn, bro. I've been telling you, dude, people can't drive. They can't read or they can't drive or whatever. But. But uh, that shit was hilarious. But yeah, he talking about, yeah, B Dads don't bring nothing but Ritz. He don't bring nothing but 25 extra pounds. That's all he brings to the table. And he ain't gonna be good at 75. He gonna get exposed. And he ain't gonna be trash at 75. And then I'm gonna want to fight him when he's trash at 75. Because he ain't gonna be any good at 75. Like, he's like, all right, bucko. All right, buddy. All righty then. I just read, I read that like, dog. Uh, 
And that's what people running with. Oh, he looked bad versus Kuzvik, and he didn't look good at all. Okay, if he didn't look good and he looked bad, then what's the problem with fighting him? If he looks so bad, he's so ass, fight, expose him. Hand him a L. Hand him a L. You got fans really advocating for the biggest fights not to happen. Mad at Turkey Allah Sheep for the biggest fights not happening. Like, y'all is clowns. If you're doing that, you're a real-life clown, bro. You're a real-life clown. I don't care what nationality you is. You're a real-life clown. But hey, that's all I got. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Peace. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Check the box on this playlist out.